This is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where there's geeky grandpas talking tech. Reviews. Having fun and all kinds of things on this channel. Today, I am going to talk to you about Keyboard Trace, and specifically the ETHU. I'm going to give you a review. Uh, recently, I moved to Florida, and I bought an LCI desk, and I've been working on my office to try to get the best studio quality as possible. But I discovered that the the keyboard tray that came with my unit was not functioning with all the equipment that I had. So I went out, did my research, and found this one. So stay tuned. I'm going to get into it with you right now. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel, and we'll get back to that now. In my research for keyboards trays, you can see that there's a lot out there. And the quality of these units varies dramatically. And the first thing I wanted to get is a long, wide tray, and this one is 27 inches long, one foot wide, and it can be in black, it can be wood, looks like wood, things of that nature. So that's what I looked at. The other thing was that a little bonus that, that came with was the little tray that came underneath that for, makes things a little easier putting and finding a little pen when you need one. Uh, the other thing was it had large clamps that it could be clamped onto my wooden desk. So I'm going to get into that right now with you. We're going to unbox. We're going to take it out of the box. Uh, a lot of these units, the less expensive ones, they don't. They're not strong. They're not wide. So let's get into that right now. You can see here. I rearranged my my two monitors in the corner, and that worked okay with the key. But unfortunately, this table does not allow me to put the tip, the drawer right here. So either I put the keyboard up here and work with it there. But I had to find another solution. And of course, the easiest solution is to add a drawer here and move it out. Well, that is great. But I've looked at, you know, several of the stands. I'm taking everything out of the box. And as you can see, this is the design for it. It's... The tray, the keyboard is rather large, and underlying tray that goes underneath. But like a lot of these products from Chinese China, they everything uses an Allen wrench. All the heads are Allen rather than a little more hard to use or assemble. I'm going to start assembling it as I get to this. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll show you the total product when it's out of the box. As you can see, I've taken it out of the box and laying up the split pieces. What I like about this most is that I have a wooden desk or simulated wood desk and I wanted the drawer to look wooden too. A lot of the ones are cheap plastic looking. And uh, there's a lot of parts, but like I said, a lot of screws. And it seems well made so far. So let's finish putting this together and continue. And one of the things to mention uh, as Grandpa and been experienced in putting things together many times. One of the biggest mistakes that I made when I was younger was that I would start to start the screws and start to tighten them as I went across. You don't want to do that. Always start your screws, just get them started. You get the entire bracket or whatever you're attaching to it, and then finish tightening the screws afterwards. The reason we want to do that is this way. You're sure that all of the screws are properly aligned, the brackets are properly aligned. Otherwise, you're going to have to end up loosening the screws. Let me continue. Now, another thing you may want to do as you're assembling anything, especially like this particular drawer, the parts are marked right, left. But when you have the item down on the table, you might get it yourself confused as to where the back is. So you may want to make a note as you're doing it. This is the back. This is the front. That's the right side. That's the left side. So now that I've assembled this, I'm putting put the drawer in. Something I noticed very uniquely, and that usually seems to happen with products that are manufactured in China. 
this says right, this says left, but this is the right side of the drawer and this is the left side of the drawer. As you can see, if the left and right are for assembly, not to tell you you're putting it on the right side or the left side. So be aware of these things. The other thing, like I said to you, is as you're assembling these, any product, and particularly this one, you want to test fit everything. Make sure that it works as you tighten on the screw. There's nothing worse than putting it all together, then putting it in place, and then finding out that it doesn't work because you needed to adjust something. Let me continue. I've completed putting it together, and as you can see, it's rather large. That's what I one of the reasons I like about it. Unlike conventional drawers, a lot of them are just big enough for a keyboard or something like that. For these, you can see it's going to go the full length of my desk. And I'm going to just tighten this up here a little bit before it's on. As you can see, as I put it on, what I love about this, one, it's wood finish, similar to the similar wood finish of my previous keyboard. It's wide enough that I'll be able to put a keyboard on here and the mouse and maybe something else. This is where my keyboard has been. There's enough room here for a keyboard, a mouse pad, and that leaves me plenty of desk room to put my bamboo drawing pad on here and anything else that I want to do. And that is really, really sweet. But I, again, it, and it comes out all the way. And that's another thing that really bothered me about these drawers that come with it. They keep they come out only halfway you can barely get to the keyboard you can't see when there's not enough light and then of course the other little feature that i love about it is that it has this little drawer to put store stuff in i don't i wish it came out just a little more but i can see what can happen is stuff can get put in here at any rate let me finish up so i've completed putting the keyboard in keyboard tray in uh, again i didn't mention if i didn't mention it e t u h keyboard tray 26.7 inches long 11.87 wide and of course it has the c clamp which you've seen but what makes it nice if you standard keyboard tray that comes with one of these desks does not come out all the way as you can see where this one comes out all the way which if you have a limited lighting or you're typing, you won't be able to see the back of the keyboard. But here, it does. The other thing is my mouse pad is right here, not some little add-on that adds on to the back. So I totally recommend. It is definitely a great add-on. And if you, as you see here, I have you know my I have two monitors. I have my my, my camera. My Bamboo, I need the space to be able to do all the work that I'm doing. Anyway, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech out with it with another product review. E T H U product review. Hope you like this. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe.